so basically SUG elections comes with the bands the drama and all the campaigning on today's episode i'll be taking you guys on a thrill of how this year's election went what's good guys it's your boy on the pr thank you for clicking thank you for listening and today is the student union government election 2024 so today i'll be taking you guys on the experience so don't forget to like comment and subscribe and let's get to it the atmosphere was tense and there was a lot of security on ground to make sure the whole process went smoothly and the school atmosphere was packed filled with students to pick out the candidate of their choice actually it's actually it's going well actually better than the last one and we can see the voters trying to to cast their votes um let's say this time around it should be fair up here so i think uh we are doing good we have better isaac members than the last one because the last one it was by faculty but now it is first come first time so i think it's very well thank you Unlike last year, I joined the queue immediately to cast my vote and the voting process was almost the same like last year's election. The only irregularities was the time limit on the voting system, which was three minutes, and also the user interface in voting. So I basically had like limited time to pick my candidates and some students had some things to say about this. This year one is different because this one is the time this year one is different because of there was a time limit this year. Three minutes per person to vote. So I just went to the president and I voted for what I wanted. There was no time to waste. Why is it peaceful? It was peaceful now. They are only choose everywhere now. I want to do any, I may do any, I may chop bullets. It was like a three minute voting experience. You input your metric number and then you vote for whoever you want to vote for. We are all done. Some actually complained about the rowdiness and the whole thing. I don't know what to say. I've been sweating this morning. There is no air. This is choked up. Like, the the, the, the shooters are there. They are manambi again. Like, they want me. What did I do? I just wanted to vote new. Like, I'm not going to vote for anybody. Like, what did I do? Like, I just wanted to vote new. Like, they are manambi So, I was nice, honestly. The security is tight and all. So, it's okay. Also, tech is, is giving. It's giving power. <laughs> It's more than I expected because it's coordinated, organized, there's no fighting, no pushing, everybody's working together. It was smooth for me. I don't have any. Well, I wasn't too satisfied with the time limit because not everyone is completely trained, though. And the others could agree with me. No, somehow, but it's still much more preferable than last year. Everywhere is organized. Around, so I think um, the school at large and ISEC they actually tried better for this um, election because they brought in more systems and more security actually because this, um, ex- this election has been peaceful so far and I've seen fights that try- were tried to come over the security were able to tame them down so it's a good one so far I'm really fine it's- no trouble at the moment and if everything is going fine security is maximum so i can say it's actually going fine so basically before i continue please don't forget to like and subscribe on my youtube channel please get me to 100 followers thank you very much so after further ado it was time to announce the winners of the election and i was shocked beyond measure to be very honest with the outcome This year's election came with a lot of drama because basically two students from the Faculty of Engineering were contesting and also one from Science. So it was a lot of tussle. Basically, it was battle of the fittest and actually the best man won. Africa. You have to be coded. In Africa, 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 you have to be coded. In Africa,
Out of the temples, temples, out of the temples. Finally, you have the number one SD president from the Pagodi of Etienne. In summary, I learned a lot from these electoral processes, you know, in elections you win some and you lose some and then you go back to the drawing board and actually strategize, okay, this is what went wrong, this is what happened, we couldn't sell our candidates and all that. So basically, not everyone was actually happy with the results though. It went well, the people's, the people's wish came to them. But you feel unfair But well, you don't look happy. Yeah, yeah, my candidate actually lost. So my friend won. I can't do that. My friend won. I'm okay. So if you're watching this, let me know in the comments what you feel about uh, electoral processes in school and what you think about this election. I what? We wanted happen well, and some other little little things because our friend lost and everybody our can know yeah. I think now because everybody was shocked bro. Yeah. What we were not expecting was now even before they released the result, people were already shouting yeah. Africa. I think I was seeing it last year. Like, but this is the exact thing that happened last year. Yeah. Even engineering engineering brought in two candidates, science brought in one, and how did engineering split in votes and it still came at home? I don't know how they might have seen now. I don't know. Everybody still in shock, bro. So basically we've come to the end of this video. Like I said, election is not all about the bounter online. It's about coming to vote. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye for now. Mm. Say it again. Say it again. I won. I won.